Today I am trying to install a Amazon Linux uh, uh, GUI version. I mean, uh, see, by default, when we install uh, uh, any Linux operating system on cloud services like AWS or uh, Azure, you will get a command line version which you can connect with SSH like this. But uh, if you want to access that using RDP in a GUI format, like uh, how you access in VirtualBox or like that, GUI version the GUI operating system, UI operating system, then you need to install this setup process. I am following this link provided by Amazon. Just ran this first command. It's installing this uh, main desktop. One of the alternatives available for genome. Let it install completely. It installed. Uh, next, we need to set this mate as default desktop. Just run this command from the This one is enough because I want to access this. The second command is uh, to access the UI only for this particular user. Uh, but I want to be it's available for all users on this particular uh, Linux machine. Next, we need to install VNC server. Try on VNC. Type Y whenever it prompted for. Uh, Next, we need to set password for this VNC uh, server. Okay, VNC uh, password. Set some password. Uh, if you set this uh, second password, the only password. You can only view the desktop, you cannot do any mouse config, mouse or keyboard clicks on that. So that's it. Type in. Uh, next. When we boot up by default, uh, should be visible. Next, uh, to set this VNC service at the boot time, else are copied. on the two prompt so it will be easy to use now and I will access this command with sudo so that it will be having as in that yeah. uh, so wherever this user was there it will be requested to the user reloaded we need to make it as a boot service so when it rebooted it will Uh, and uh, next we need to start the service if you restart you don't need to run the start command and it will automatically get started you can set it by using this data
I have yet seen your app. Let me try on that. Is in the desktop and uh, it is at hyphen VR. Fine and zero one. Proper one. Fine and zero one. Yeah. <coughs> I didn't set the password. That is the local setting. Mm. Maybe we'll test it. Uh, the VNC password uh, which I mentioned is nothing but while we are installing the Tiger VNC, it, ask, it asks us to set the password. Right? That's all. Not the system password. See, yeah, I'm able to access the system now. why I am using local host here yeah. by default we can access it through only SSH because we don't have any system password so what I have done is uh, I have connected to my EC2 instance uh, and provided a, a local port redirection on my machine so whenever any request comes to my local host or if any uh, if anyone want to take remote desktop connection uh, to this one uh, they need to access uh, my local machine using RDP uh, and need to provide IP address or if I am the same machine I need to just provide the local host and uh, port number 591 so whichever request coming here that will be redirected through SSH to this VNC and from here it connects ok so that's it um, thanks for watching um, and uh, one more thing is uh, if you want to uh, create this uh, GUI based uh, RDP connection on a different operating system like NetOS uh, then you need to use this link provided on the top to follow the steps so there it uses this XRTC service and you can connect directly like this I will create a separate video for further development thanks for watching this video bye